If you know me, you know I'm always looking for ways to bring a touch of nature inside, you know, blurring those lines between inside and out. Now what I'm doing today is I'm actually harvesting some of these cone flowers. Now we typically call this the native purple cone flower, but this is a new variety that has a beautiful sort of apricot to pomegranate color. Just a few weeks ago, these were outstanding as they emerged. The color was so brilliant, and now they're fading a little bit, but that's not going to keep me from continuing to enjoy them. You see, what I'm doing is I'm just taking the ray petals off of each of these blooms that I'm cutting, and I can use the center part or the seed pot and flower arrangements. Now in the garden, I think the cone flower looks great juxtaposed things such as grasses. You can see this miscanthus morning light behind me. And to my left over here, you can see a beautiful salvia, one called indigo spires. They all bloom at the same time. Another grass that looks gorgeous with purple cone flower is a calamagrostis. Now, what I like to do is plant this gorgeous perennial in large drifts. What you see here is I have roughly an area that's eight by eight feet, and I've planted about 15 plants in here. The beautiful thing about these cone flowers when planted this way is they give a really robust presentation, and they're perennial, so they're gonna come back year after year. And just think about it. You cut this daisy form flower, when it's at its peak, and then you can come back and take advantage of these gorgeous seed heads. Mm -hmm. 